where to start. So, the last five days, I got maybe like 30 hours of sleep. Why? I don't know. Uh, I think it's allergies or the way the seasons are changing. It's messing with me. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> maybe it's just a... Another kick in the nads to, to add to how much I hate this miserable, pathetic existence that some piece of garbage put me in. But that's not here nor there, because it's uh, another uh, complete waste of time, because can't change it, can't fix it. So here we are. Uh, so what have I been doing with all this extra, extra not sleeping time? Well, not what I want to do, I'll tell you that. I rarely get to do what I really want to do. I'll tell you what I have been doing. Uh, besides laying there, trying to sleep. I, uh, my cousin, yeah, I guess he's my cousin, and my aunt came up, one of the aunts that uh, drive us to do the grocery shopping. She gets paid, of course. Trust me, very few people do me favors anymore, because, uh, why would they? Can't take full advantage of somebody if you're, uh, doing the favors, right? Uh, my other aunt uh, still does stuff for me once in a while, so, you know, if you ever see this, don't think I lump everybody together, it's just, uh, considering the, the vast majority versus the not-so-vast minority, it's easier to say everybody, because it pretty much is. So... Don't take offense to it, or do. I don't really care. Just another, another person that can hate me for some stupid, unexplained reason or misunderstanding. And uh, my cousin came up. Spiderweb. My cousin came up uh, when I was ripping apart. Uh, some of those funky motors that were pain in the butt. And uh, I got to what I thought was the last one. But then the next day I found one underneath my table. It must have rolled away. And I didn't see it. So now I have one more to do. But that's no big deal. Uh, back to the point. Uh, he showed up. I think he's like nine years old. We were throwing the football in the backyard. And uh, my aunt was like, if you don't want to come back right now, you know, just walk him down in like 30 minutes. <coughs> so I was like, well, it's up to you, man. You want to you wanna hang out under this uh, metaphorical dark cloud? I'm not going to stop you. So we were throwing the football for about a half an hour. I went to walk him back to his house, and he asked me about my family, like... So, my family's not very close, obviously. Like, if we don't talk, we're usually trying to stab each other in the back, because that's what scumbags do. But, uh... He asked me about my father, and my mother, and my pap, and... For whatever reason, uh, he wanted to know who was, who was dead and who was alive. So I was like, you know, as far as I know... XYZ is dead, and ABC is alive, but I haven't talked to most of my family in a very long time. So last night, I made a dummy Facebook to get a hold of somebody, because uh, I didn't want to, I didn't want to make one of my real name, because I got hacked before, and I think that caused a whole list of issues in and of itself. 
So I didn't want to make one in my name. So I made a dummy account. Zero friends. Uh, just to message just one guy to see if he wanted to go blackberry picking with me. Uh, which he did not. Which I just... You know, it's uh, I could give or take, you know, it's whatever. What is it called? Not give or take. Take it or leave it. Because, you know, having somebody there makes it... Well, I think I said this already. But having somebody there, you know, cuts into the the amount you probably get in and of itself, but makes it a little more entertaining. So, I could take it or leave it. They didn't come, it's whatever. But, uh, I used that account to look up uh, my family, my half-brothers and half-sisters. And I can't say much. For one, I don't give out personal information. Uh, but, uh, besides the fact that it seems like they have, like, two and three Facebooks each under different variations of their name, uh, I did find them. And, uh, it's like I've been, like, completely erased from their memory. I didn't go and, like, message them, because, like I said, that branch of the family caused me a lot of issues. But I was curious, because, uh, regardless of what was said and what was done, my young brothers and sisters that were, like, you know, five to ten years old had very little to do with it, so... I try not to hold anything against them, so to speak. You know, having, uh, getting raised in a bad environment with bad parents and a bad social network makes you, can make you a bad person or put you at a mess, a massive disadvantage when it comes to being a good person. Trust me, I am a product of such a situation. So, uh, I looked them up. And, uh, yeah, it doesn't look like, I mean, it's been like five years, so it was very, very strange to see my, uh, well, my brother didn't have a lot of pictures, but my sisters did, and they were getting big, man. Uh, the older of the two sisters is a bit of an artist like me. She might actually be better than me. Like, she was, some of her work was halfway decent. I think she's probably about 18 now. Uh, she uses the, it was really kind of cool, because uh, she uses the same fake name I do. And I just thought that was really funny, because I didn't do that until after we stopped talking. So, I thought it was really funny that, that she chose the same fake name I did. But, anyways... Uh, so that's one thing I did. Uh, apparently my other grandmother died. I'm not sure if I was told about that or not. Uh, I kind of just brushed that stuff off. Because, freaking train. Freaking, freaking train. But, I usually brush that stuff off. Because, unfortunately, I, once again, I can't really hate her for what happened to my life, but, you know, I don't really want to associate, you know, too much, it takes a lot for me to want to write off my own family, like, they might be quick to do it, but I always felt like, you know, you only get one, you only get one, well, I guess you get two grandmothers or whatever, or whatever, you know, whatever. You get the point. Family isn't something you can just get, really, you know? So, I try not to write them off, but uh, what happened between me and that branch of the family is definitely irreversible damage. So... Uh, I don't really, and I don't know how, you know, I never learned necromancy, so with her being dead, I mean, there's not much I can do about it. If I, 
if I ever learn necromancy and I can bring the dead back to life, you know, then maybe I'll care a little bit more. But then again, that might even be like, that might be more of a punishment than a, than an act of grace. It's like, you know, put, taking somebody from death to put them back in this misery. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I'm pretty sure my other grandmother is dead. Which wouldn't completely surprise me. She wasn't doing all that great. Uh, you know, a long, long time ago. Before she moved. So, I wasn't all that surprised by that. Uh, my mother, I think she got cancer. Uh, apparently she's still alive. As far as I could tell by what I could read on the page. Uh, she's, uh, you know, she's on Guy 552. It's another different last name. Uh, but apparently she ended up getting cancer, I guess. Not too sure, you know. And yeah, it's one of those things, you know. I, I try to say that I wouldn't wish something like that on my worst enemy. Because I saw what it did to my pap. But there are some people in this world that are so evil. That it seems like it wouldn't be a severe enough punishment. Hey, anyone that can take someone's life or take someone's time that they only get one of is just, I don't know. There's a lot of things in this world that it's hard to look down on it until it happens to you. Or it's hard to truly understand it till you go through it. And... I, I... I got mixed feelings towards a lot of things. I know... I know that... You know, I'm, I'm human. I make mistakes. I do stupid things. I'm not the... I could be a complete a-hole a lot of times. But I am a very nice guy. And I am good-spirited and mindful of people. And I do try to practice genuine kindness. I, I try not to... I try not to lash out without a good reason. So, I might just be tooting my own horn. I, like I said, I'm far from... I'm far from some pasture or like... Uh, or some sort of, like, monk. But I do consciously put effort into being a good person. And that is a whole heck of a lot better than a lot of people around here. Right. Uh, what else is there? Uh, getting paid for taking care of Grandma? Yeah, that wasn't going to happen. I, I kind of figured that was never going to happen in the first place. But I do... Uh, I do hate myself a little bit for uh, actually thinking it could happen. Uh, I thought it was possible. I thought I might have been able to bank some money before I either left or figured out a future for myself. But they're not going to let that happen. Like I said, another scumbag version of this world. Why pay somebody if they'll do the job for free? Uh, it's, uh, I'm pretty sure, a firm believer, that right now they, they already know I'm planning to leave, and they're trying to just get as much as they can for as little as possible. And I'm pretty sure I said that before too, but, like I said, not a lot going on in my life. So, I tend to repeat myself. Uh, I went to the store today. I've been back on the energy drink thing because, well... I am kind of dragging, like I kind of late, I'm on the small trail today because I just, six hours a day of sleep isn't that bad, if you get it all at once, but if you get like two hours, and then you're up for an hour, then two hours, you're up for an hour, then two hours, you're up for an hour, it's, it's, it wears on you after a while, so I'm kind of low in the energy department. And that caused me to make a, a small mistake today. 
Uh, the small mistake being, I went to the store and on the way down I saw a big box in the trash and it was a microwave box so I was like, oh there's probably a microwave in there and I'll rip it apart. So on the way back I picked it up and I thought it was a little heavy but it looked like there was other stuff in the box. So I thought maybe they filled the microwave with garbage or something. <coughs> they had the box taped shut so I didn't really want to like stand there and cut it open and all that junk so I just picked it up. It was probably like 75 pounds maybe so it was much heavier than a normal microwave but I thought it was just like you know full of trash or a good microwave and I got it back to the house and while I was prepping the green tomatoes to uh, fry up some green tomatoes as soon as I got them in the skillet I went out to cut the box open and it was full of like wooden planks that somebody was like remodeling their house so that was kind of sad. It went from a potential 30 minute project to a complete waste of time. So that was, that was kind of sad because that was, that was kind of a heavy box to carry all that ways. Uh, the nice, the nice neighbor, uh, that one of them that doesn't seem to, to want to cause me trouble. Uh, lent me his uh, wheelbarrow wagon thing to take at the last block up the road. And considering how tired I was, I jumped on that offer because oh, I don't even want to talk about that again. So, so now I got a box of like construction tidbits on my back uh, picnic table that I got to carry down to the trash for tomorrow. And I hope they take it, because I think they had the box tape shut and all that, and had it covered up so that they wouldn't ask questions and just throw it in the truck. But I, I don't know. Uh, not going to waste my time talking about Grandma any more than what I already did. I don't know what's up with that mess. But I'll tell you right now, whatever it is, I'm not winning. So, so whatever's going on, I'm not profiting from it. So, I, I don't really know what else to say about that. It's like I said before, if I'm supposed to be getting something, I'm not getting it. Ah. Uh, I've been trying to uh, trying to requit smoking because when I did get a couple of bucks from whatever thing I did to get a couple of bucks, I'm not sure what I did. I can't remember, but uh, I bought a pack of smokes to go out to the bar. So I ended up smoking the whole pack, and now I'm trying to curve myself off of them again. And that, that's like super annoying because it's too hard for me to say no when I'm drinking. And I don't want to quit drinking, but I don't want to keep smoking. So I've been limiting my drinking, and the less drinking I do, the less other stuff I do, because I just don't want to. And it's just a nightmare. It's a complete vicious cycle. Uh, I gotta wear my boots everywhere from now on, pretty much. Because the shoes I was wearing on that last hike I took... I dug into my ankle, so now, like, if I wear those shoes, they rub the same spot, <coughs> so I can't, I can't wear it anymore, uh, until it heals, and I gotta start wearing it with, like, socks all the time, because I don't want that to be an issue. Uh, I got rid of most of the tomato plants, I figured they got about another month in the growing season, but something's been eating the ones in the top garden. And on top of that, there was a, a pile of uh, poop in the yard. And I, I know it's going to sound stupid, and it probably is. But it looks like a pile of person poop. Like it doesn't look like... It, like maybe a dog, but it's all the way in the center of the yard. 
maybe a bear, but bears, I don't, I never see bears, let alone in the middle of town. So, it really looks like somebody popped a squat in my backyard. So, I, I don't, I don't know, but something was eating the, some, but some, something or somebody was eating the tomatoes, the green ones, just like they were an apple, just taking them off the bush and taking a big bite out of them. So, I don't know if there's some loony going around in the middle of the night eating green tomatoes and pooping in people's yards, but it's definitely weird. Uh, I don't know what to do about it. I was going to go up to the neighbor and ask them if their dog has been in my yard because they don't always keep it chained. And it did come down to my yard to uh, bark at me once. <coughs> so I was going to ask them, but I really don't want to be associated. Like I said, I, I, have a, I have a fairly good idea what goes on up there. And <laughs> and it's not something I particularly want to be involved in. Uh, that's the only one. I only like one of them up there anyway. So hey, I figure if it's a reoccurring problem then I'll go up and be like, listen, man, or woman, you're, uh, if, you know, if it's your dog, you know, just stop it. If it isn't, then can you keep an eye out for me? So, is, you know, unfortunately, I get paid for it or not, I'm the groundskeeper, and, uh, sometimes, every so often, uh, morning and night, I walk outside barefoot, and if I stepped in a giant pile of poo, not only would that be super gross, I would be pretty, pretty irritated. So, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna ignore it this time, figure we're overdue for a, for a big rainstorm, so it'll pretty much pound it into the dirt, but, uh, if I see it again, I guess I'll go and deal with that. It's just, I, I, I really don't know what to think, you know? I, I really don't, but I can tell from... I can tell from the way I'm treated and by the people that go in and out and around up there and just the way the, the kids act... It just, it, it, it puts, it puts some bad thoughts in my head. And not, like, uh, you know, if, here, here's the thing about something like that. If I see it, other people see it. And nobody's doing anything about it. And you're probably wondering, why don't I do anything about it? Well, if you haven't guessed already... I'm a criminal. I got accused of something that gave me three misdemeanors. Well, I got accused of a couple things that added up to three misdemeanors. So, you know, why would they believe me other than the fact that I'm there? I, I don't have proof other than, you know, I got a bad feeling. And, you know, unfortunately... You know, cops don't go off of... <coughs> Cop, cops go off of their wallets, not, uh... Not feelings. There isn't too many... There isn't too many inspectors out there going off a hunch anymore. It's, it's pretty much whoever's the highest bidder. And unfortunately... There isn't much I can do about it. So... Like, like everything in my life. There isn't much I can freaking do about it. And, and maybe I'm wrong. You know, maybe, maybe this garbage that's screwing up my life is just making me think these things so I talk to less people. You know, I mean, it's, it's a strong possibility because uh, when my Facebook got hacked, the handful of girls I was flirting with 
just up and stop talking to me. So, you know, I wouldn't doubt it one bit that somebody was ruining relationships. There's a can of whipped cream out here in the woods. I wonder why that's there. It gives me two, uh, two dirty ideas. <laughs> There's one of those bugs, man. It's a uh, middle stage. It's not uh, not full grown yet. That gives me two two dirty ideas. Either uh, either somebody was like, well, here here's the three possibilities that there's a can of whipped cream out in the woods, right? Uh, whipped cream is typically canned with nitrous oxide. Nitrous oxide is basically laughing gas. And if you breathe it in, if you keep the can upright and you breathe in the gas, you can get like a slight euphoria. It's a, it's a cheap high for junkies. Or a, or a science experiment for, for younger people, I guess, depending on, depending on why you're doing it. But uh, they're usually canned with nitrous oxide, which is the same thing as basically laughing gas. So, there's that. Uh, somebody was making ice cream sundaes out in the woods. Or, uh, you know, we were getting some of that there, you know, spraying it on some nipples and licking it off kind of action. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't know. All right. So, this clip's probably... Yeah, this clip's almost a half an hour. And there's another freaking train. So, I think I'm going to go. I think I covered what I mostly wanted to cover. And, uh... We'll see what happens next, I guess. <laughs>